we had we had uh, our yeah, there's a strange bond between both of you. Like uh, we feel it's it. like you know when you guys actually are on stage. I feel there's this excellent camaraderie which probably um, you know uh, the best of the romantic pairs cannot portray when they're they're on screen. Shuja, I should tell you something special. Mm -hmm. But if you go on uh, like narrating a Wordsworth classic in front of me, right. and if I play a Mozart classic, mm -hmm. then what happens? He comes in with a tumri. The gelling of these classical masterpieces forms a great like nuptial uh, atmosphere Absolutely. which mingles all performers together I know. it makes this world as a one place you know like, i agree with him because that's not fusion that's oneness absolutely, which absolutely. absolutely. And there are no barriers and in between and it's not hurting individualities right. like we are not hurting the composition of mozart by unnecessarily fusing a tumri lovely so uh, when you met him in college sorry you also met him in <laughs> right. college so how did it strike what did what it happened was, uh, like, was he uh, so appreciative about music no. He, he was not. He like, wasn't. He was, uh, like he wasn't. This, this a pianist young man? has to be a snob. A pianist <laughs> has to be a snob? Beautiful people, do you Take agree with me? Take I don't. <laughs> the thing was that we were just uh, like passing through our first auditions in our college. Okay. And uh, like uh, with the grace of God, uh, I was appreciated by everybody. And I was just enjoying the fact that everybody came after my performance saying that, oh, you were wonderful. But I noticed that there was one boy who was just sitting with a big nose and uh, <laughs> just just ruling me out of. He doesn't his. have a very big nose. But You're, on air. Thought, You're on I air. You're on air. You should be conscious. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, I thought him to be uh, uh, like apart from uh, this entire South Asian family because okay. I thought him to be from Europe or somebody right. uh, oh, some other part. And uh, then I came to him and I said that oh, I like to piano a lot. Uh, I thought the answer would be even I liked your singing, okay. but he didn't. He just ignored me and went back. And uh, then I thought that maybe he's very snob and sort. It's okay. It's okay. Who are you? In this context, I would really like to tell you something. I'm yeah. really proud to be an Asian. Mostly when I feel that when we go and perform our ethical uh, parts of the music to different parts of the world, there are audiences coming sitting and enjoying our music. We explained them the literature of our music, the gram grammar which was there in our form of music. There's a lot of interpretation that comes with your right, music. Right, right. And there, there we realize where lies our speciality. And where I'll just cut right, you short. Sure. Asian does not mean to us a geographical boundary in the world. It's right. a part in our heart, no, but, but what, what a European I'm also has. I'm very inquisitive and I'm sure my beautiful people also wants to know is, so this was not there, this bond was not there, so when did it happen? It just came because when I was selected as a vocalist and he was uh, selected as a Was pianist, this a competition? It was basically a musical quota, a quota. through which we okay. came into this uh, huge in, uh, like institution, St. Okay. Xavier's. Okay. And we were asked to perform uh, the very first performance uh, okay. in front of everybody. That was the freshest welcome. And there I related myself with him musically. I found him to be just saying the same words that I say wow. through music, which I was lacking, uh, like which I could not find in my other musicians, the other uh, talented boys who came with us. But then that is how it started. And I wanted him to be uh, beside me, and he wanted me to be beside him. And then the, then the journey went. Mostly a musician's life is really different from others. It has to be extremely uh, comfortable first, musically comfortable. When you perform with your team, you need to have people who gel with you. But tell me something, at a ripe young age like both of you, um, I'm not so old, I know that, <laughs> but uh, how difficult was it to make up a choice of taking music as a career, as a profession, because both of you I mean, people of your age are, you know, academically oriented or they, you know, want to join a huge multinational corporation, earn a lot of money, get settled in life. But See, it's a, it's basically right. we had belief and for me and even I believe for him, we had no other choice apart from being musicians. And it's a very pertinent question, what happens? The parents of our country mm. mostly go on like dictating their children to select their own professions. But it's actually not right. There are many movies coming up like Tare Zameen Par, for instance, right. where there are these opportunities where you can get the parents groomed. 
a, a parental grooming is a much more like sensitive issue than that of a child's grooming. I, I, I can't but agree with you. Yes, it is very important because uh, uh, there is also another factor working here. It's your peer group and the immediate society that you belong to. Absolutely. Because your friends, immediate friends, your college friends, your people that you hang out with will obviously ask you a question. What the hell are you doing? Are you just making music? That's, no, they did. That's supposed they to did. be... They did? They did. Okay, so have you faced situations yeah, like that? Yeah, like uh, the other people, they, uh, they always had a question. That so there was a doing? hindrance. Absolutely. Yes. There we was a phase of time when we were not believed and then came places when we were really being believed by people. I'm so honoured. I uh, like. Do you remember your first public concert? Oh, there's a you very do? big... Uh, like incident related please to Please tell that. us, please. It was all of a sudden in the morning that uh, like one of our friend, mm -hmm. he just called me and said that, uh, can you uh, sing for us tonight? I said, yes, where? So he said in Jamshedpur. Okay. We know it's far Jamshedpur from Jamshedpur is the famous steel city in, in India. Absolutely. Yeah. So I said that today in the morning, I don't have a ticket. So he just said that, come and I'll just arrange. And you know, we were freshers. Leaving the town for a concert was like a big Joe party for us. No, I know, <laughs> of course, yeah. And, yeah. and we are being paid for that. I mean, it was... We couldn't believe that people can spare money on us. <laughs> and then I just came to him and we packed our uh, like bags and we went to the station and unfortunately, we missed the train. My God, you missed the train? <laughs> yes, right. we missed the train and it was thanks to the station master. He found us... Uh, like rehearsing on the station and he was so motivated. Can, can you believe this? Two young boys rehearsing on the station. With loads of luggage of With course. With loads of luggage. <laughs> and, and without a ticket and a train. Oh my <laughs> God. Nothing to do and we had no trains, like no connecting no. trains. And even we shared a mobile in those days because we didn't have our individual mobiles, we didn't afford. And then it was the station master who accommodated us in his room and uh, made special arrangements in a train which usually does not stop in Jamshedpur. And he made that arrangement and said that I believe that you... I think there is a magical enchantment about both of you. It's Even mostly I think divine, so. you know? <laughs> it's, it's a superpower playing behind all of our lives. This world is really a so stage. So what happened? You reached Jamshedpur, finally. Abs like, finally we reached there. And, and you did your concert. We did our concert and we were asked to stay in a very luxurious hotel okay. and then with so much of money and the world was just ours. Is this what happened in Jamshed? Absolutely. <laughs> My Absolutely. goodness. So your first public concert was... Was without basic. a ticket. <laughs> was without <laughs> a ticket. ticket. But beautiful people, I'm telling you, there's going to be more musical interludes with this lovely boys here. Uh, boys are usually not lovely, but these two boys are lovely. Uh, and when, I, when we come back, we will only have more magical moments with Chatterley on Chatterley. Mwah.